guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to 31 Days of Hallow's Eve. Today I am doing a one-eyed zombie inspired makeup look. Um, if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Bye! Alright guys, so to start this look off, I just cut a piece of black construction paper into a circle to fit around my eye and I'm using lash glue to glue it around my eye and secure it. Now I'm taking a piece of paper towel and ripping it apart into a thin layer and ripping that apart so I get the desired piece I want and I'm gluing that around my eye. I'm going to be gluing multiple pieces like this around my eye and it doesn't matter right now what it looks like because you're going to go around and just pull the excess paper off of your eye. I'm trying to create flaps going around the circle just so that that acts as the skin from your eye socket. elf tinted moisturizer I'm just going to be using this as my foundation. The reason why I'm using this is because it covers every blemish on my skin and it makes me a little bit more lighter than what I am and we're going for that white gray zombie look so I thought this would be perfect. Taking my cover all setting powder from Wet n Wild I'm just going to be setting my foundation. Now I'm just taking my tin and moisturizer and a tiny paintbrush and I'm going to be painting on the foundation onto the tissue. This is a very time consuming part and it will take probably most of your time but everything needs to be covered that is white. We're doing this so it can blend in with your skin and it can look like your real skin. <laughs> What the hell is that? Cosmetics 88 color palette. I'm just going to be contouring my face and blending it in and creating the zombie look. The key to this is just keep blending and blending and blending until you get your desired look. I decided to contour my cheeks to give me more of a hollow look. With a small blending brush, I'm just going to be contouring my nose with that black color from my BH Cosmetics palette, and I'm going to be making the tear ducts in my eyes black. As now taking this brown color from my BH Cosmetics palette, I'm going to be going around the wound with it to make it look more of a scar and more of a wound. I'm also going to take this dark purple and I'm going to be going around the brown to create bruising. Okay. 
taking red face paint, I'm just going to be painting inside of those flaps that we created, and this is just going to make it look like the inside of your eye socket. With the red face paint, I'm going to be going around the eye socket with that to make it look more bloody and gory. Taking black face paint, I'm just going to be going around the scar and in the scar to make it seem more realistic. I wanted to make myself look more gray and more dead, so I took this gray color from my BH Cosmetics palette and I went on the corners of my nose and right below my eyes and I took a darker brown color and went on my eyelid with that. You see me do this in a ton of my videos, now I'm taking the black eyeshadow again and I'm going to be putting it in my mouth to make it look more of a dead look and more. Purposely I got it in my mouth a lot because I wanted to create, like make my teeth look a little bit more darker. Now here comes the fun part, taking red face paint, I'm just going to be painting around my face to create blood. I only did a few spots, you can do more if you'd like. Taking vampire blood, I'm just going to be going around the scar and making it drip down to seem more gory. I love creating these gory makeup looks for Halloween. I feel like that's what Halloween is all about. This is the final look. I hope you guys like this scary one-eyed zombie look. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my beauty blog if you have a chance. And until next time guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.